Hi folks, today we're looking at the, the Zidu X1, which is a quad-core 4K TV box, which has a few differences to your standard offering. For one thing, if we look in the box, we can see it's not a little black box. It's a, a shapely little unit here. Um, on the back here we have USB and power in, Ethernet for if you want to do wired connections, USB, HDMI of course, and AV. Inside the box there's the obvious power, bo power block plus HDMI cable, a remote control and the user guide which is simple manual, as it says on the front. <laughs> and it is indeed quite sparse. But as we said before with these kind of things, there's not a lot to talk about, is there? You're just gonna plug it into the TV and see how it goes. If we run through the specs a little bit, it's got a quad core all winner H3 in it, running at 1.5 gigahertz. And it has, of course, Wi-Fi and Ethan, as I said before, one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of onboard storage. So the key thing about these um, these Zidus is they do tend to fiddle around with the um, software on them. So we're likely to see when we run it up on a TV in a second, quite a, a different uh, experience, the traditional Android TV boxes. Also, the, the, they, they've uh, apparently tweaked things like the memory handling and other things in order to optimize the performance of the box. So you should get a better result compared to others. We'll have a look and see exactly um, uh, if that pans out. Well, so the first thing we see when we uh, fire up the uh, Zidu interface is, of course, the, the, the typically customized UI for this. You know, you don't get the standard Android look and feel with, with Zidu. Zidu. They, they like playing. And it's quite nice. I mean, you know, you have the usual stuff here. You have the app drawer. So that's, that's all there with a, a, a smallish but reasonable set of apps, including an updated mirror cast and easy cast type of uh, ex experience plus browser music all the kind of things you'd expect to find plus also aptoid which is a a third party app store to rival google play which uh, i assume just gives a bit more flexibility you know, we're, we're all for a competition aren't we but the rest of it is fairly self-explanatory. You have settings, which is as standard as you'll find, um, which gives you all the usual things you'd expect to find with Android. So you're running for Android 4.4.2 here, and uh, it's pretty standard, as you can see. What else have we got? Well, the web browser is the web browser, the standard Android web browser, and works as well as you might expect. I'm using the remote control that comes with the X1 itself. I'm not using the Air, Air mouse I usually use. Actually, and this one is, is not a bad one. It's actually quite responsive. You know, when you press a button, things tend to happen, which is, I like. <laughs> so often with these remote controls, they're a bit spongy, um, but there's nothing spongy about this. Um, so I'm quite uh, impressed with it. Although I still continue to say that really, you should invest in an Air mouse if you're gonna use one of these Android boxes over a long period. Right, what else? Oh, Kodi, of course, is again a, a customized version of the standard Kodi. Zidu adds a few tweaks and makes it a little bit better. As you can see, the quality, the picture quality is pretty good. And really, that's about it. The, the, the other nice thing about I like it is, is you have uh, these three, I don't know if you can see that there. Let me just show you three color coded buttons here and these are shortcuts to apps so you can actually customize the settings by going into this shortcut button here and therefore you get yeah a number of shortcuts you can configure so if i want to change that to be something else i can change it to be the calculator so now when i press the blue button i should get the calculator I'm pressing, and there you go, the calculator. Which is quite a nice touch. If you do, you know, it means you don't have to fiddle around navigating on screen to get your your desired app up. You only get three, but that's enough with three buttons for the main ones. I suspect there'll be a media player of some sort, maybe settings in the browser, yeah. Of course, also you have the option to add your own app um, to the front page as you want to 
and this will be entirely dependent on what you want to install um, to use whether it's games or whatever but certainly you've got a, 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 a fair amount of flexibility. Apart from that, it, it runs fairly well, as you can probably see. No, had no problems in setup. Set, setup was instantaneous almost, a five, five minute job or less, and it's, it's up and running. So yeah, the Zidu X1. Well, yeah, nice little TV box, a good price, nice feature set. I, I happen to quite like this uh, Zidu interface. Uh, I think it's, it's usable and you get reg regular updates depending upon you know, when they're released, but that's nice as well. So the fact is you don't have to worry about those sort of things very much. You can just do a, an update to the box fairly automatically. And uh, yeah, pretty good. The Zidu X1. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.